Hi, I'm Ian with Turotech USA, and today we're going to upgrade the suspension on this KTM 1190R by installing the Turotech Extreme Shock for this bike. The shock has the same type of adjustments that the stock shock on this bike has. You've got a high speed and a low speed compression adjuster, as well as a rebound adjuster on the bottom of the shock. The really nice thing about this shock, what makes it a big upgrade over the stock unit, is this shock has a PDS system in it that creates a hydraulic bottom out resistance before the shock actually clanks metal to metal. The really important reason why we do that on this bike is because the stock shock does not have a PDS system in it and it makes this bike really sensitive to hard hits. You can bend the shock bolts and just generally it's a lot harder on the motorcycle and on the rider than it should be. So this Turtec Extreme shock is a very good upgrade and I'm going to show you how to install it on this bike. To complete this installation you will need wheel bearing grease, medium strength thread locker, an 8mm socket, a T45 Torx wrench, a 12mm Allen tool, a prying tool, and a torque wrench. Remove the bolt that holds the exhaust silencer onto the subframe. Remove all three bolts that hold the rear brake master cylinder to the frame of the motorcycle. Loosen the upper subframe bolts a few turns and fully remove the lower subframe bolts. Now that you've removed the subframe bolts, taken the bolts out of the brake master cylinder and unbolted the clamp on the exhaust, we're going to hinge this subframe up Use something like a bungee cord or a tie down strap and be careful while you're lifting this subframe that it clears the brake master cylinder, it doesn't catch on anything. Remove the upper and lower shock bolts. You may find it helps to support the back tire with your foot a little bit just to relieve pressure from the shock bolts once you have them spinning. The lower shock mount on this bike is kind of a press fit, so you have to use some type of a prying tool to actually push the bottom of the shock out of the swing arm. A tire lever works pretty well for this. So right here in the swing arm at the lower shock mount, there's a floating bushing. This bushing gets pressed in when the lower shock mount bolt is tightened and this is the only tricky part of the shock installation. We have to get this bushing driven back flat against the swing arm. There's two ways to do that. We can actually push this bushing all the way through and then just pull it out through the middle and reinsert it from the other side or you can take a punch and put it through the threaded hole from the outside of the swing arm and actually just drive the bushing back into the swing arm that way. On some of these bikes, the upper shock bolt can be really tight, the, the actual mount in the frame. And for this particular bike, what I had to do was use a small bottle jack on the subframe here just to spread it very lightly. You only need about an extra millimeter, and then you can pop the top of the shock right into the frame there. The lower shock bolt is really easy to line up. All you have to do is just lift up slightly on the tire just to get it to line up. Make sure that you've greased the bolts just like it calls for in the KTM manual and just slide them into place. Both the upper and lower shock bolts on this bike use 80 newton meters as a torque. Uh, that's about 59 foot pounds. So make sure you get your torque wrench set, ready to go.
The Turtec Extreme Shock is now installed. The upper and lower shock bolts are torqued down. Now it's time to put the subframe back down and get this thing ready to go. So while you're lowering the subframe, pay attention to the clamp on the exhaust as well as the brake master cylinder just to make sure they don't get stuck when you're putting it down. You can spin the rear tire forward just to help the mud flap get out of the way. All right, now we're ready for the bolts. All four of the subframe bolts get torqued to 45 Newton meters, which is about 33 foot pounds. Make sure you put some blue Loctite on these guys also. Be sure to use some Loctite on these bolts that hold the brake master cylinder onto the subframe. Use Loctite as well on the bolt that holds the actuator arm to the brake pedal. Use thread locker on the bolt that holds the exhaust clamp in place. And just tighten this one gently. Torque is about 25 Newton meters. This bike is now ready to go. We got the seat back on. The Turatec Extreme Shock is installed. This suspension upgrade is complete. If you need any tips on tuning the suspension, please visit the Turatec website. Go onto our blog page where we've put up a post about how to tune suspension and work all these adjusters. Now go out there and have fun. This thing's ready to rip. Thank you.